LinkedIn have brought out a new section in 2020 called the Featured section um, on your LinkedIn personal profile. So you have to go to your personal profile to find this. It's called the Featured section. It replaces the area that used to be in your LinkedIn About Summary where you were able to add in um, slide shares and video and photographs and links to other things at the bottom of your About section on your personal profile. This is a new section and it really stands out when you look at somebody's profile. So if you have a look at mine, um, let's go to linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash Louise Brogan and I have a link to that below and you will see that the featured section really jumps out at you on somebody's profile. So I'm going to show you now how to add content to that section and explain why it's such a valuable section. My name is Louise Brogan. I'm the host of Linking In With Louise and I help and support business owners and entrepreneurs who want to learn how to use LinkedIn for business. Okay, so on the LinkedIn home screen, if you go across the top to click on me and go down to view your profile. So this is what your profile looks like on LinkedIn and you scroll down and you'll see underneath the about section, you see the featured section. So you can add in posts. So if you've got nothing in here at all, you'll have the opportunity to add in a post. So to click on add, you can add in a post that is one of your own LinkedIn posts. You can add in an article um, that's been published on LinkedIn. In fact, let's do that now. Click on this. Um, so you can just go and pick one of your posts that you've been sharing recently. And you could say feature this post and click on the post that you want to feature and then you click on done. So that's how you add in your own post. Then you can add in your articles. And for people who struggle to get reading, people reading their articles or interacting in their articles, it's actually a really good way to get more people to see your articles on LinkedIn. You can add in external links. So you just literally would go and grab a link I'm going to grab one of my YouTube videos and paste it in here and click add. And then it's going to pull up the, um, the image from the video and the title and you can change these if you want. So um, we could change this, so remove that section in there from the description. And let's see, quick. to help you today okay and then click save and now it's going to show up here so you see even quick tips to help dot 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 it doesn't use the whole thing but it's now is included in my featured section so if I would rather change the order of what's in my featured section I click on this little pencil here and you can drag and drop so that's two YouTube videos let me put this one down below my um, most recent articles that I've written for um, for Social Media Examiner. And this uh, workshop is now over, so I'm going to delete that and remove it. So just remove it from my featured section. And I would like this article to show above this article and click done. So once you've set this up, do remember to go in and change it and edit it to focus on the highlights that you want to feature in your profile. Um, and I'd love to hear from you below if you are using this feature and what you're featuring. Are you featuring anything else aside from your own videos and articles in this section? I'd love to hear below. All right, thanks for watching. And if you're enjoying the, this channel, please do hit subscribe. And if you think somebody else would find value in the mini trainings here, then absolutely uh, share the video to somebody who you think would find useful. Thank you.